Okie dokie. All right. All right, boys, uh, market watch today. Um, I got a lot of cards to go over. Uh, the 2021 Megatins were just announced, so we're gonna be going over some of the cards, when you should be selling those and such. Small pick-me-ups and just kind of noticing some cards that have just shot up in price in an absurd amount. So um, this card, uh, make sure you have a play set of these because this is unlimited now and it's a really good card. It's a great pickup at $1. I think this could go to five eventually. Uh, yeah. Um, all the Alistair stuff is up, which is really unfortunate. Um, but what can I say? Like, don't pick this up now is what I can say. It seems like it's being bought out. Honestly, if you have like invocations, like you have like a, like that stuff, consider selling um because it's it's pretty peaked right now and i think yeah chaos space um is 724 and you're you can get first eds for 729. um consider picking up the first eds here um because after those two are gone next one 735. so actually this this has a pretty heavy wall here sub eight for chaos spaces um i still think that chaos space is a great card at seven dollars i would be picking up a play set but not picking up more than that um for like investing purposes i picked these up at five for investing purposes got like 20. <laughs> eldlich the golden lord first eds are about 45 50 dollars um it looks like it's stabilized there. There's a pretty heavy wall at the $50 range. Then it kind of shoots up to like 70, like 65 to 70. I would just say 70 because there's a bunch over here. Um, so can this go up? I think because it's the first printing Eldridge, um, I think it could go up to like 60, 70. Um, so if you were planning on picking these up, pick them up now um i you should have picked them up earlier when the reprint was done but um for playability purposes i'd pick them up now um elixir of scarlet sanguine is 350 then goes up to like five um kind of wish these were higher that's all i have to say about that so blue eye is like the ultimate rare. This card is just so in, like interesting to me just because it's an ultimate rare of blue eyes printing yet has like a cost that's like affordable. You know what I'm saying? If somebody told like somebody that wasn't really into like modern Yu-Gi-Oh that there was an ultimate rare blue eyes and it was like cheap while freaking things like ulti cosmic cyclones are 100 something dollars you know like just wouldn't really make sense but what i wanted to point out out of all this yeah you can get these for like 15 whatever but there was a buyout of the first eds the first yeah so first ed <laughs> first ed blue edition ultimate rares oh my god are 350 dollars Oh my god. So, oh my god. That's crazy. If you have first ed blue eyes white dragon ultimate rares, it's time to put those in the nice binder. Uh prime math mech laplation. This is the one that basically sends um this is honestly a good card. Do I think that they're going to reprint it? Probably. Um should you get it? Nah, but I just thought I'd throw this out here that it's seven bucks for future reference. Oh yeah, you know what? I went over some of my older videos and I'm like, damn, I'm really good at guessing what's about to go up like right before it goes up before any of the other market watches do it. Just saying, like if you look at my older market watches, yeah, I was wrong on some things, I, but I would say we've got a good hit rate, like overs and unders, like good prediction rate. Uh, also like this is a meta. This is typically like a meta, market watch and 
investing market watch. Uh, I don't really go over like old cards as much. I only go over old cards that are like ultimate rares or meta relevant. This card is at $37. Uh, Prime Math Mech Al Alembersh. I don't even fucking know. The one that basically allows you to add Imperial Order. <laughs> um, because, you know, if you overlay four, you add one spell or trap. Should you buy this? No, but if you have it, I would sell it because there was a buyout. Now, all of a sudden, there are a shit ton of these copies. There was literally like less sub 10 copies of this card when I pointed it out last, maybe a month ago. And now there's a bunch. So I would just sell it, get it away. If you want to keep one, that's fine, but fuck it. Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm is eight fifty. Um, I would say this is the last. Mm, I think that this could easily go up to like fifteen twenty. And um, yeah, I re I knew this card is very. This has been in the meta for uh, multiple times, you know, and such. Uh, and because it has a secret rare um, Yu-Gi-Oh rarity. Um, it's just gonna go up. So I, I bought these when they were like four um, and they're just now starting to go up. I think that this can continue to go up. Like how much? Maybe 15, so double. So I guess like if you were planning on getting these for playability in the future, this is a great card, definitely going to see more play. Uh, good rarity grab. Uh, same with Fire Formation, Tanky. Uh, you can get the first eds for 18 right now. I think I picked these up for um, at three or four when this uh, Fist of Gadgets first came out. The secret rare, um, because the secret rare is the next best thing to your ultimate rare, and the ultimate rares of Fire uh, Formation Tenki are just absurd. There's only nine listings. They're at 180. And then the next things are like rares, Speed Duel, Battle Box, Speed Duel. Fist of the Gadgets, and then the rest are just trash. Rarities. Um, Ultimate to Zulkin. Still cheap. Just wanted to check that. Uh, so with the Megaton 2021 reprints, um, I don't think Ignisters are going to be good. If you have these cards, I would sell them because these are gonna get reprinted and I think that these are just gonna keep going down. There would have to be some absurdly broken card for the like for this like archetype because literally nobody has ever played this goddamn archetype type once and nobody gives a fuck. Even though it is an anime, I believe an anime deck and you would think it'd be a little bit higher based off that fact, but no, I've never seen anything related to these cards. Except for the Karibo, that fucking, that's, that's a solid card. But what I'm trying to say is if you have these cards, sell these cards. In my opinion, because they're about to be reprinted. Uh, I need to move faster. <laughs> Blackbeard, the Plunder Patrol Captain. The whole Plunder Patrol archetype is about to be reprinted. And I know that other card is gonna be coming out and it's good, but, um, trash um here's the other one the dark magician ultimate rare out of starter deck yugi reloaded i wanted to check if there was a first edition buy out of these oof okay so you can get them for 30 you can get them for 30 and then okay so would i say there's a buy out of these cards i wouldn't say so i think that um now if you were wanting to get in on the whole ultimate rare hype, like I would pick up, how much are the, they're like $6. This is like exactly the, pr the prices I were looking at. I bought a play set of first eds of the blue eyes ones. And like, I bought like, like nine of the unlims because I was like, you know, it's just gonna go up anyways. Like these unlims will go up anyways. But I think, you know, like keep an eye out. I think that this could be easy pickup at 30 and then boom, all suddenly shit's at $300, you know? 
10 times. I think huge potential here. I might just go in myself and get like a play set. Uh, Seven Cities of the Golden Land out of Blazing Vortex will not be reprinted in the Megatons. Uh, and it's a uh, Golden Land card, uh, Eldritch card. I would consider getting these while they are still like 40 cents. Like, yeah. Technically, they're like 80 cents, but get a playset now if you have anything related to Eldritch or zombies. And it's ultra rare. Um, another card that is uh, on the low low that nobody's really talking about is Immortal Phoenix Gear Freed out of Toon Chaos. Um, I believe this is a good pickup. It's at a low price right now. Um, they can definitely go up. You can get two first deads for $9 right now. And, um, you know, Warriors uh, freaking with the whole... Um, I keep forgetting the damn name of the card that like rips the card out of your hand got banned but either way um noble knights noble knights literally hasn't seen play since that ban but this isn't a noble knight card this is a generic warrior monster slash equip monster and that's that you know freaking this is a good pickup i mean i will for sure be picking up like first eds of these, this is this person right here. This would be a great pickup because um, it's for twenty five bucks. You get uh, a place of three first eds. Just saying. Um, anything else out of Toon Chaos that may be worth a peek? See, um, I already go over this in a bit. I think I have it tabled. Let's see. Oh, yeah, right. Something about the Chaos Creator being bought out and people just don't get it. So for $28, if you have a Chaos Creator, I think I have a Chaos Creator. I would sell it. Like, honestly, like, I don't think people know what's going on there. It could be like, oh, what's going on over here? Interesting. Yo, this could, this could fly up if like the whole hype thing with this Chaos Creator happens. Um, if I were to invest in this, I'd get the fucking collector's rare of the Chaos Creator. And uh, instead of buying like a play set of these, I would buy like one of those. Um, this is not low. The Toon Blackluster Soldier, that's not low. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, oh my God, there's only five copies of the collector's rare of Toon. The fuck, $501 for the fucking collector's rare of Toon Chaos. That is insane. That's crazy, bro. Is, has this been bought out yet? These collect, there's, I guess there's been a collector's rare buyout of these, especially of these first eds. Um, I'm pretty sure I go over that soon. Um, White Stone of Ancients, Blue Eyes card, great card. Consider picking it up. Also, Return of the Dragon Lords. Hi, Watson. Thank you for not knocking that over for me. Um, the Return of the Dragon Lords. I hear the comments are like, yeah, they're like eight bucks. That's in, that's stupid. Like nobody even uses this card. I mean, Blue Eyes players sure use this card, but that's just insane. Like for a common. That's just stupid. Um, I heard Dragon Master Knight is going up, but people need to calm down. Calm their shit. Here we go. I had this thingy. All right, what are we at, boys? First edition, still 225, okay? Now, based on the other buyouts of first dead stuff, I think that this actually could still be a good pickup at 225, a collector's rare first dead chaos emperor dragon. Um, Cause then it just kind of shoots up and I'm holding the line at the top there. Um, just saying. Cyframe driver battles of the legend, uh, you know, kind of with the whole gamma. If you play Gamma, you're gonna want the highest rarity here. And this is the highest rarity of the um, of this thing. You're gonna need one of these, right? For it's $2, I would get one, maybe two. Fossil Warrior Skull Knight. I don't know if you noticed, but this card is actually going up. 
if you were considering buying one of these, I, and I would really only buy one, I would buy one now because this was a harder to pull card. I can easily see this going up to 30. Um, will it? Probably not. It'll probably only hit like 20, 20-ish, 20 but I definitely think this will go up because it was hard to pull in the set. Um, but it's just not really going to see a lot of play kind of thing, but whatever. Double Evolution Pill, what are you at? Double Evolution Pill is about five bucks. It's a secret rare, you know, version of the card. They reprinted it. Dual Overload, maybe? Yep. And uh, that's super cheap, but the secret rare is a way to go. You can still get, you can get them, um, you can get them at uh, sub five per copy now, so. Um, Jirak Aelo. Is a card. Hasn't really gone up. Hey, oh, happy 420, everybody, by the way. It is 420, yep. A pointer of the red lotus. Pointer of the red eyes. <laughs> red eyes. I should do a red eyes market watch today. That would be hilarious. Um... You can still get, like, this is a meta card that is cheap and does a pretty good job of fucking stopping your opponent from doing stuff, like, snatched, what is it called? Smoke Thief, right, Smoke Thief. That's what it was. Anyways, um, so I told you to get Cyframe Gear Gammas at three bucks a copy, um, sub 10, and now they are at 450. Uh, because like I said, like, if you don't have, like, a Gamma playset, I would still go in now and get these for, before these go up even more. Just saying. Um, it, because it's just, if you're, like, a meta player, you know Gamma's gonna be in the meta here and there. Um, and of course you can get the different rarities, but make sure you at least have, like, you know, the rare, uh, and you can, like, sell these absurd, like, these prices, let's see what we're working with now. We are working at $31 a copy. Then if you exclude the Italians, we are then at $41. And then there are only really, so there's only really two play sets at $40 before it becomes $50. So would I say Gamma Ultra Rare being bought out? Actually, yes, I would say that. So, and here I am thinking I would get 75 a copy, this might not, this might be possible for me to get 50, 75 a copy, which would be absurd, but yeah, they, the, the ultra rares do look nice. How much are the, uh, I think we already went over this, they're like 200 or something. First eds are 300. You can get a playset for uh, 300 each. Kinda cool. Yo, Apollosa Bow the Goddess, 13, $1,350. Absurd. Literally absurd. And, um, yeah, we're just gonna let this keep going. This thing's gonna pay for my wedding one day. Regeki Ultimate Rare is 150. I remember seeing these for 40. Now they're this much. Super sad. Uh, yeah. World Legacy Succession 2019 Gold Sark Tin Mega Pack is still sub five dollars. Oh, it's about to hit six dollars, and then after that, it kind of got some resistance at the seven dollar mark, and it goes up to ten. If you don't have a playset of World Legacy Succession at the Prismatic Secret Rare level out of the Mega Tin of 2019, I would pick up a playset before they go up. Torrential Tributes. I just wanted to point this out because I had a shit ton of torrential tributes and somehow they are like above $5. They are 550. Uh, okay, like I'm just going to make money off that, I guess. I'm not a fan of that going back that way. We're going to go back to the end. Win which ice spell secret rare is the highest rarity, I'm like pretty sure. And uh there's still 2 bucks a copy. And my internet's dead. Come on internet. We'll just hopefully come back. Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragons, 550. Kind of, you know, hoping that goes up. 
Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon is now 550. Hoping that's going up. Oh no, nothing was found. All right, that later card is, nothing's gonna happen with that card now. Oh no, something's happening. Oh no. I wonder if I hit command. Okay, so I just need to refresh it. Okay, the ultimate creature of destruction is 340. And uh, it's holding the line. So yeah, it's gonna hold the line. I still think this is a good investment. Bingo Machine Go is at 950-ish. Slight increase since the last market watch. But again, I expect this to go over, go up long term. So um, I don't really expect to see gains until maybe a year later from now. Um, yeah. This is potentially this. Mm, Okay, so Galaxy Eyes, this whole archetype in this card, personally, I don't think it's good. But if you were trying to get it, maybe you just get it now. Like, this is the lowest it's basically been, like nine-ish, right? And could just go up, so. Solemn Scolding, get this. Uh, if you don't already have it, they're still, they're still $4, and then all of a sudden they will be $5. So, I'm telling you, this is a good pickup. Um, okay, the next card is the one. Okay, so I bought a place out of these um, because I was just like, Ada is, why not? This product is currently out of stock and has been for like a week straight. I'm about to list a playset. What should I list it at? <laughs> for I've never seen a card like been out of stock for like this long. Like besides like extreme like there's some some person needs to cover one of the main market watches need to cover this card. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh Arc V promo card. Like do I list it for a thousand? <laughs> Do I list it for like, because I don't care if I, I make the money, but I'm just like, oh, this card, by the way, if you can get clear wing fast dragon, this is actually pretty good because you have a um, quick effect to negate a uh, special extra deck face up monster. And it's relatively generic, relatively, um, especially with all the wind stuff. So at five bucks, that's not, that's not bad. But anyways, what do I list this for? I think I should list it for a thousand just for like the lulls and then I can go down from there once because like if I sell these for a thousand each like what I wonder and I wonder whoever bought those out is just like should I pay this thousand to keep the buyout going <laughs> um if that person was to buy out more odd eye stuff this seems like a legacy card or a collector's card so this would be something to consider investing in um, I did pay five to get a play set of these. Um, this can't. This is so subjective, or so. Uh, how do I say? It? What's the term? Delicate and mm, susceptible. That's this is this Odd Eyes Saber Dragon is incredibly susceptible right now to a buyout. For example, if two of you guys bought two play, like if. One of you guys bought two play sets, the card already goes up 50% to like nine bucks, you know? And then if one of you guys, or if three of you guys both all buy one play set, this card is off the market. That's crazy, in my opinion. These cards, uh, Battle of Legend Heroes Revenge. Do I see anything that I wanna talk about? Oh yeah, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. I do want to sell that. Artifact Lancias are up to nine. Sky Striker, Mobilize, Engage. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have like bookmarked, but I, let's see, where's the all the versions? Um, Dark Saviors. Okay, yeah, I would just buy the Dark Saviors one. Um, oh, unless it's, ooh, the first eds. Where are the first eds at? Oh my God, 14? <sighs> I would, ooh, 12, ooh, I would get this guy. Okay, so what I was gonna say about Stry Sky Striker Mobilizing Gage was that it could come back to one. 
there's a possibility that it comes back to one. Will it come back to three? I highly doubt that. However, I believe it's very reasonable to assume that it will come down or come back to one. And um, if that happens, you're just gonna need one copy. And if uh, you need one copy and your options are secret rare, secret rare, and ultra rare, you're gonna be like, shit, fuck the ultra rare, let me get a secret rare, right? If you're like, fuck that, I want a secret rare, why not just pay like a little bit more and get the original printing out of Dark Saviors, right? And for 12 bucks, you only need one. There's only one copy out there right now for 12 bucks. That's a solid, that's a solid uh, pickup, just saying, in my head. Imper oh my God, I got this thing for freaking seven bucks. I'm so... I'm so happy about this. Freaking the uh, Imperial Order, Secret Rare, Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's Ruled, it's $25. And basically that's it, but yeah. I don't understand why people don't play, more people play Imperial Order. Red Eyes, uh, Darkness Metal Dragon. The Secret Rare is still going up. Freak, I should have got it while it was slightly cheaper. Um. This card might be susceptible to a buyout. I might consider getting this card. The secret rare version of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Ooh, wait, there's a Shonen Jump promo? Mm, but that probably doesn't look as good. You can still get one for 45 though. But yeah, basically your options are the ultra rare, very, very reasonable at $10. And then the $30 and then 45, I would, Secret rare, I would I really want the secret rare personally. But then you might have to get a playset because you can play three now, so yikes. That'd be ninety dollars. Can you get it for ninety dollars? You can get it for ninety dollars, a playset of those secret rares. Giant Rex, what are we at? Because I wanted to sell these as soon as possible. They're at thirteen dollars. Honestly, I would sell them now. Some dude has 40 copies at 13.50 so sell them now at 13 like i think that these will go down and not go up like maybe a buyout maybe but no i don't think so now i just clicked on ots stuff anything i'm gonna just oh abyss dweller is that the one that like negates graveyard effects yeah, so Abyss Dweller for 60 bucks. Guys, pick that up. It's going to go up. It's a meta card. It will see more play. $60 for an ultimate rare. We know what's going to happen with this in like two years, three years. Abyss Dweller is going to be like 100 plus. And at the $60 price point is not bad. For Flasia, not too sure. But I think it will also go up, but not as much as Abyss Dweller will. Book of Moon, too, but that's more because it's a collector's card. Obviously, pick up the spiral stuff because that one day, that will come back one day. Um, Tomb Kingdom. I told you you guys get in at 50. It's now at 70. So, do I think you should get in now? Like, at $69? Absolutely. I still think this card has plenty of room to shoot up. Like, I don't even... Like, $20 increase from 50 is like, yeah, you made immediate gains. Like, you're at the point that, like, if you were to sell it now, even with, like, a 15% cut from, like, TCG player, like, you're still in the plus. But not the point I'm trying to get at. The point is, Tomb, K Tomb Kingdom will continue to go up. It's just, like, one of those cards. Like, it's, like, an ultimate rare blue eyes. It's just, you're just, like, collectors are just, like, fucking, they want it. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Fist. Now, the, the secret rare was it? The ultra rare. The original printing was bought out, right? But here's the thing. This card over here is pretty, pretty solid. At, uh, you Okay, so if you can find some seller that's selling multiple copies like this, one, so you could ba you'd basically be paying for four bucks when you get three first deads instead of looking at it like you know getting three of these unlimbs for six dollars you know 
Like you gotta look at these TCG prices a little bit differently with the shipping included and stuff. But anyways, this card I think, um, if you have any of these, I'd start stowing them away because I do expect these to go up. This sees a lot of meta play. A lot, a lot? Not really, but like it does see enough that this will go up. And you go faster. Um, Dark Magician Girl, this card, the uh, bond between teacher and student. This card is just gonna go up. Um, yeah, because I'm now talking like all the dual power cards. Magician of Chaos is now $9. It's gonna go up, guys. Quintet Magician hit $20, and I wasn't expecting that, but it's at $20. So consider, actually, it can go up more. Let's let's hope. Samorg Bird of Sovereignty is now at 150 Oh, come on, let's keep going, boys, all the way to $100. Um, Five-headed Link Dragon is two dollars. I would, hey, I would get a place of these if you do not have these. Okay, this is a collector's slash meta relevant somewhat. Lib the World Keyblade Master. This card is good, and you should definitely have a place of these if you don't have it before it goes up. Uh, I just wanted to point out, like for some reason, like I was like, you should uh, maybe consider getting two Kingdom the Ultra Rare. Now that I think about it, it's like, nah. Uh, I clicked on a bunch of cards because I've never seen them. What is this one? Malis Malefic Truth Dragon. Oh, I clicked on a bunch of Shonen Jump magazine promos that were like cheaper, like basically haven't been bought out yet. So I was like, let's take a look. This one, okay, so you could actually buy out the limiteds. I would consider... I don't know, it's just, it has dragon in its name. <laughs> Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Okay. Does it do anything? The other one doesn't seem like it does anything. Um, oh, well, somebody has a shit ton of those copies, but interesting. Does it do anything? It does not do anything. Hundred Eyes Dragon. Once per turn. Doesn't really do anything. Now this card does something. Shooting Riser Dragon, I, is there another printing? Like a higher printing? There is not a higher printing. So, there are no first eds, I believe. Yeah, there's no such thing as first eds on these. But um, yo, pick these up now, because this card is good. Because it, one, it works with uh, Halifibrax, and you can just send this out, send something to your graveyard that you can use later, but then it can synchro summon. I think it's really good. I think you should have one. Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. With the Cyber Deck uh, Structure Deck coming out, let's uh, let's buy stuff out. <laughs> can this be bought out? Let's see. You can still get a pre-buyout price of $13 for this card. $12. And then it goes up. Um see yeah i would definitely consider getting this just because it's a kind of like i think there is a secret rare um starfoil rare ultra ultra gold okay so it is basically like the highest highest uh rarity of this like i would definitely consider that as an investment uh chaos emperor dragon envoy of the end uh the shonen jump magazine promo is 19 dollars that's really cool. I have a lot of these stored away because I think that these are going to go up eventually. And honestly, like after somebody buys maybe two, three play sets, it's at $25. So, you know, pull these into the nice binder, get ready to sell, maybe. Sea Monster of Theseus. Uh, oh, right, Theseus, or however you say it. Uh, because that new, uh, instant fusion card this may see play i would i would pick up uh i would pick up like one if you don't already have one just letting you know cosmic cyclone secret rare is seven dollars yeah oh you know what let me find out how much the ultimate rares are they were like a hundred bucks last time i checked they are they are 125 continuously still getting bought out this guy has a place at 125. Hmm. I was already considering selling at like 80, 
So this is really interesting. I'm probably just going to wait on this then. So, okay, so I, I saw the funniest thing. Like, some person bought out, like, Mech Knight, Blue Sky, and uh, Purple Sky, the first Eds, I think. Or did they, they just bought all of them out. And I was just like, no way. I remember I, I, I have, like, extra copies of this card for some reason. Just, I don't know how I got so many of these. But then I was just like, wait, you're telling me there was a buyout of these? Because I just thought, like, these were, like, lost, whatever, but... Anyways, I'm hoping that these continue to get bought out. It's going to have to see meta play, though, first. Same with the purple sky. What are we on purple sky? So if I were to sell, like, a play set of both, I'd, I'm currently looking at $60 made, or $60, like, from my proceeds. And they're all first editions, the one I have. So actually, we're looking at, like, 70 plus, or like, a, like, a lot, like, maybe 100 off, like, a play set of both those. Um, again, Cyber Dragon uh, deck is coming out. Cyber Dragon Seeger, Prismatic Secret Rare is arguably um, highest rarity of this kind of thing, right? Like this card, I would consider getting um, while it's still under $2. And you can get a first edition, look at that. Um, yeah, maybe even an investment card. However, if you have Cyber Dragon Hers, um, you know, because of the hype, I would sell them now and like, yeah, like just get them again later. I I think you, they may be bought out a little bit more in the, in the coming weeks. You know, these will go higher in the coming weeks. But then when you're ready to sell, sell them because this is going to tank once the Cyber Dragon deck comes out and like they reprint this card as common, but... Um, just some other things to note in terms of the prices of the 2020 tin. Um, anything I see that's interesting? Not really. Oh, Fantastical Dragon Phantasmes are finally going up. Um, what are we looking at over here? Are the first eds like, oof, nice, nice. Okay, so the first eds are now $60. I bought these, I bought these freaking secret errors at $100. And for some reason, they tanked like a month later. Like these were like, oh, because they reprinted it. And for some goddamn reason, people are like, I don't even want to play it. And I was like, all right, but we're making some of our money back on that investment. Arch Nemesis, Eschatos is not going up. This is how much it's costed forever. But it has been mentioned once in a previous market watch of a famous market watch person, and it's starting to potentially go up. Do I think you should buy this? If you buy one, buy one copy because you only need one copy. This is not an investment card anymore. I invested at this at like three-ish a copy right here, but I need to get rid of these because these are going to ideally go up to like seven, eight, even 10, that would be ideal. And then I get rid of them before the freaking Megatons come out. But we still have a lot. The Megatons come out in this time on 9-17. Uh, that's like freaking five months. Let's just say four months, right? Um, freaking, I would say for the next month, cards in any of the sets that are being reprinted can still go up, right? Like, you know, because there's still plenty of like time between then, then and there. But after about a month, they will probably start to go down. So, you know, in this next month, if you're planning on selling Megaton stuff, I would definitely consider it. Oh my God, so much freaking, I'm not even gonna cover any of that. Um, okay, so Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon is now $37. Um, again, it's holding the line at 40-ish. Um, I would definitely get this again, like still. Like, this card's amazing, freaking god. These are like 20, the Blue Eyes Abyss. Like nothing's changed since I talked about this last, so we're just gonna keep moving. Oh, okay, so this is actually something interesting. So as we know, every structure deck card, like every structure deck card um, for the past, like multiple structure decks have increased in price. Now is the time to go in on the Freezing Chains structure deck while it is low. Trust me, these some of these cards, like most of these cards, no. Just get like, just get like 
Does anybody selling 10 of these or something? Yeah, literally just buy nine of these or something and like, I bet this will go up. I bet this will go up. Oh, you can get common appointment of red lotuses. Get those. Um, dupe props, get those. Crackdowns, get those. Like you could literally pay like 10 bucks and get a play set of all the important cards out of this box. Cosmo Tin Can. So with the release of Ghosts from the Past, everything is fucking tanking right now. Just FYI. Um, but long-term value, or if you are considering buying cards from this shit, um, I would recommend the Cosmo cards. Um, I would recommend picking up one of these. I'd recommend picking up Dragoonity cards. Um, and then I'd recommend picking up this card. It looks like this card is going down. Galaxy Eyes Cypher X Dragon, only printing out there. Um, it looks like it's going down. It will probably go down more, but I for sure will get at least a play set of these once I feel like that these have hit the lowest point. I don't think they have, but yeah, like Ghost from the Past right now is tanking, so. Phantom Knights, Fog Blade, don't... This is probably one of those cards that's just like... I wonder how much the Seeker is right now. I have like a place out of these and I'm like... Okay, we're not in the cell range yet, but... Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. Now this card actually may be going in the opposite direction. It might be going up, so... Yeah. Um, another architect from the from the Ghost of from Past is the Time Thief's engine. I would get Time Thief cards if you can get them for cheap. But again, I think a lot of the Ghost of the Past cards are going down. So I recommend you kind of just being observant, like with Ghost from the Past, seeing if it continues to go down, if it's stabilized, um, then buy like an investment worth of like the Time Thieves, Cosmos, Trigunities, and the Starry Night cards. And I think that the most, the best investment cards are going to be these Starry Night cards because I think they, I think Konami may give more support to this engine right here. I think a lot of people are interested. So get these cards while they're cheap. Time Thief Adjuster, yep, that's Time Thief card. I don't know what this card is, but it looks wild. Neshadal Genius, I would sell these. They may be too late, like it may be too late. Yeah, like this thing is tanking. Like if you could have sold them at 14, which I had the opportunity to, I would have sold them at 13. This shit is tanking right now. Literally, I re hit refresh and it was down 50 cents. Evenly matched is probably gonna go up. How much are the secret rares? Secret, rare, oh, dude, I have first eds. Okay, they're 40, nice, nice. But this card is so freaking good. I don't know, you know. This may tank. Oh yeah, this card may tank. Ghost rares, bro. If oh oh yo yo what yo no way fucking bro dark magicians getting fought out as literally I'm doing this market watch. I believe it. Come on, please. Oh my God, all the Ghoster buyouts happened right as I did this market watch. If I were to buy like, yo, Dark Magician Ghost Rare, absolutely guaranteed safe investment. Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon is the one I want for playability. Is it like, yeah, so I would recommend, oh my God, dude, those cards are getting bought out. Dang Long, still cheap. Number 90, Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. Is it going to go up? Maybe, but it's $35 right now. That's a solid sell. Just saying. Dragon Mind, Dragon Maid Tiding is honestly cheaper than I thought it'd be. Invoke stuff is high. Win, win, the, win the Wind Chandler. I would sell this card, honestly. I don't know why this card, like, I mean, I know why. People think that Wind is going to be like a good archetype at some point. But I don't know when because I keep thinking that and it has been like a year. Phantasmes, again, I just wanted to say that all of them are going up. So they, they were like a dollar. That's really sad. Um, red Reboot, you'll get your Red Reboots. Secret Rares, 
Um, Prismatic Secret Rare is out of the 2019 Megaton. Before it's too late, they're only $2. Two, like three bucks, but like get them now. Dragon Maid Changeover is an option to not, instead of tiding, in my opinion. Uh, yes, this is, why is this so cheap? But whatever, House Dragon Maid is a dollar. Omni Dragon Brotar. Is this Seeker Rare been like bop out or anything? It's no, it's literally the same cost it's always been. I, you know, the Seeker Rare of these, I can definitely see being bought out. So if you actually want to get a playset of Seeker Rare Omni Dragon Brotars before it's too late, in my opinion, maybe I would uh, get it. This is trash. I don't even know why this is in here. World Legacy Monstrosity. I mean, I'd pick, they're 40 cents. That's why I think I threw it in here. Pick them up in case they go up. Oh, Salomon Great Pyro Phoenix. You can get the secret rares. You can get a place of the secret rares for like seven bucks probably. So I'd consider doing that. I think it's a cool card. Freaking Magician Souls are $104. Sky Zeus. Sky Thunder, Zeus, A.A. Zeus is 75. Pot of Extravagance is at 30. How much are the other ones? I'm sure the collector's rares. Ooh, that's not bad. How much are the first eds again? I feel like we already went over 150. I feel like this isn't bad. I would consider getting collector's rare Pot of Extravagance. Red Eyes Dragoon is at 85. They're going down. Dark Magician's going down. But again, these are still absurdly high. Yeah, urgent schedule. That number 60, Duguer is the Timeless, $16. Well, actually it's, it's probably higher, huh? No, it's $16. That's absurd. Uh, yeah, I, this is just basically to say that Sky Striker stuff is incredibly cheap right now. Consider buying it. Foolish Burial is currently $10. And the uh, Lost Art is, yeah, it's $10. I would consider getting this out of uh, the Secret River. Dreadnought Dreadnoid, still literally like 30 cents. Yo, this is, this is a good investment. You can pay like two bucks and get seven copies of this Dreadnought number 27. Yeah, you would like the Secret Rare, but maybe too late on that buyout. Yeah, I'm like too late on that one. This one's gonna start going up right now, uh, which I think I told you guys to get earlier. Dingirsu, Ultimate Rare. Yo, these will get bought out. Fucking get these now. Card looks amazing too, just FYI. And freaking Hope Harbinger has not moved. Seven bucks. Tornado Dragon. Just thought I'd throw it out there. That concludes this Market Watch. If you want me to cover any cards, just let me know in the comments section. Let me know what you think is a good buy. I'll look into it, you know, in the next Market Watch. And let me know if you have any suggestions to improve the Market Watch. Thank you guys. See you next time.